Hi everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. Today we are once again building. So the last building that I did was a luxurious micro home and for some reason everyone seemed to love that one because my video got a lot of views, got a lot of comments and a lot of people downloaded it from the gallery as well so I was kind of blown away. Thank you so much for all the positive feedback that I got on that. But um, yeah, so I decided to build something again. Um, this time we are building something in Salvadorada. I started this build um, having my two sims in mind from my current household. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, I have a current household video. I will leave it in the information card and in the description. So go check that out if you haven't already. But um, yeah, I, I wanted to make a home for one of the kids for when they grow up. But um, when I made when I started making this, I quickly realized that it wasn't what I wanted and I couldn't really figure out what I wanted either. So I just decided to make it a, you know, simple, not very personalized Salvadorada vacation home. So that's that's what this is going to be. <laughs> You're going to see me struggling and changing up the colors all the freaking time because I did not know what I want. I did not know what colors look good. I was seriously struggling, but I got there in the end, so no problem. I am not sure where exactly I got the idea from to make like um, a bedroom with an open bathroom. I think I've seen it in those luxurious hotel pictures. I'm not sure if that is even a thing but that's how it was in my mind and I thought why not do it here as well so that's what I did also I think this home would qualify as either a small home or a tiny home if you were gonna count the tiles but I didn't count the tiles so I'm not so sure you can also not make this like a tiny house officially because it's in Salvadorada you can't make unfortunately residential lot in Salvadorada I really really wish that we could live in Selva Dorada and Granite Falls. Those are like some of my favorite worlds. I absolutely love nature and everything. And I just wish my Sims could live there instead of having to go there on vacation and paying like 200 simoleons a day. I don't think they are ever gonna make it possible for us to live in these worlds, unfortunately. There is a mod that allows sims to live in vacation worlds but i have heard that it is quite glitchy and it can mess up your save so i am not willing to risk that so that's a pity anyhow i have been listening to demi lovato's new single i love me on repeat it is so good i love the lyrics i love her voice i love the music and i mean especially the chorus part it has such a a deep sound. I am very bad at explaining sounds in English, so I'm sorry, I can't describe it any better than that, but it just... Oh, I love the song. If you like Demi Lovato or pop music in general, go check out the song because it is really good. I love Demi Lovato, by the way. I didn't know about her for the longest time. I believe she is very famous amongst her like group of fans in the Netherlands and in Europe, but I never hear her on the radio. Like the only song I heard on the radio was Echame La Culpa. And I've never heard her on the radio before. So I, I didn't know about her for the longest time, but a few years ago I found her album and fell in love. So yeah, I've been listening to her music ever since. She's really good. She's also very inspirational when it comes to mental health. Like she fights for mental health awareness and I find that so important. I mean, <laughs> you could have guessed that as I study psychology, but um, I think mental health is really important and people do not know enough about it. They don't understand it enough to know how to deal with people that are having mental health issues, how to help them and how to help themselves if they're dealing with mental health issues. I am currently struggling as well. And even I, as a psychology student in a country where we are quite progressive and stuff, even I found it hard to admit to myself that again, I was having some struggle and I needed help. 
So we definitely have a long way to go when it comes to accepting mental health and learning about the disorders and stuff. Also, um, Jessie from the YouTube channel Plumbella, she posted a question on her YouTube channel. She was asking for questions because she wanted to do a Q&A and I heard her talk about autism, that she has autism and I don't know much about autism in women because there is just not much that we know about autism in women because all the research that we have done is done on boys and even our diagnostic tools are all based on boys so you know the thing that autism is way more prevalent in boys than in girls is probably not true girls are just very much misdiagnosed and underdiagnosed because of the materials that we have and the fact that they are based on research on boys so I asked if she could tell us a bit about her experience um, in her Q&A video because I would love to hear about that and Literally more than 400 people, almost 500 people at this point, have upvoted my comment and it is the most upvoted comment of all comments under that post. And I think that doesn't only show how much we want to hear about autism in women, but also how much we need to hear about it because we know so little about autism in women in science that I can't even imagine how little the general public knows about it. I have been reading a bit about autism in women and from what I understand the stereotypes that we have are so toxic for autistic women and I really really want to change that so that's why I wanted to talk about this. Um, I'm not sure if Jessie will talk about this topic in her upcoming Q&A because of course it is a sensitive topic and I'm not sure if she feels all right sharing that kind of information about herself but um in case she does talk about it please check out like keep keep an eye on her channel to see when she posts the q a and if she does post it please go watch it uh, she might talk about it and i think that is going to be very very informative for each and every one of us also some of you might have seen it on twitter go follow me on twitter by the way if you don't already um, um, one of my favorite actresses, actually my favorite actress, Ivana Baquero, uh, was in Rotterdam last weekend and I wasn't gonna go because I wasn't feeling right, like mentally and stuff, but then my friend was like, girl, you're gonna regret that. And I was like, yeah, that's true. So I decided to go last minute and I met Ivana and she was so incredibly sweet and you know, I made her in The Sims and then when I posted that, she retweeted it, like, is that a month ago? Longer than a month ago. But she retweeted that and I was like, oh, uh, I'm Berta, I made you in The Sims a while ago. And she was like, yeah, I know who you are. I'm like, really? I was um, very flattered and very happy that she knew who I was. And there were many people at the convention, so I had a lot of time to talk to her. And she was absolutely amazing. Like. I am very awkward, I have social anxiety, which make me very awkward in social situations. But um, even though I was super awkward, she was so nice to me and so kind and very interested in me as a person and I appreciated that so much. I'm gonna show you a picture because I w just want to show you the selfie that I took. <laughs> I just think she is an amazing person and I am... I am really glad that I did go in the end, even though I wasn't feeling like it in the beginning. I just wanted to share this happiness with you guys. Okay, yeah, the end. Next topic. <laughs> I know you're probably all sick of hearing about the coronavirus, but I just want everyone who is either panicking and or hoarding stuff to please stop doing that. Because panic has never solved any of these kind of problems and hoarding is necessary. People who need the stuff are not able to get the stuff that they need, like immunocompressed people and disabled people. They can't get the stuff that they need to survive and, and live a normal life. So please stop doing that. The situation in the Netherlands has worsened quickly. They aren't closing schools, like primary schools and secondary schools, but my, I just got an email from the university that they're cancelling all the lessons and the universities are closing at least till the 31st of March. 
So I am a bit concerned about my courses because my courses require that we meet a lot and that I also meet with children in schools and children like younger people at their homes because it's a practical assignment and they are practical assignments but um, already the first duo in my group of one of the subjects has gotten a message from their school saying that they are not welcome anymore to do their assignment with the kids there so we are seriously gonna have a bit of a problem with our courses and i'm not scared i'm just a bit worried about that but um, please don't panic people it's not necessary just be just be cautious and considerate and careful but not overly careful because that's just going to make the situation worse i do have quite a few friends and acquaintances in italy and it is a bit scary to hear their stories i must admit because in case you didn't know all of italy is in lockdown and you can only go to work or to the hospital in case of emergencies and all that stuff and one of my friends, she works in a supermarket and one by one, her colleagues have been sent home with symptoms and her team is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and she is like the team captain. So she is now working 15 hours a day, seven days in a week. She's freaking tired and people are hoarding like we talked about before. So she like is in contact with so many people and so many different people each and every single day for hours on end and her body is probably weak because of the lack of sleep that she gets and I'm worried about her. Th that's just not okay, you know, working that long and that much in this situation. It's a bit scary. Anyhow, we have like about a minute left of the video before the screenshots start, so I just wanted to say that this house will be on the gallery you can find it by looking for the hashtag simmingbird or by my gallery id simmingbird it is cc free so you should be able to find it easily before placing it don't forget to enter the cheat uh the move objects cheat because if you don't i'm quite sure the whole interior will be messed up so don't forget about that what i would like to know from you is do you ever play in the world of salvadorada because I have heard mixed um, opinions about this world and this game pack, so I'm really interested to, to hear if you ever play in this world. Please let me know. I would like to get some constructive criticism on this since I am not a builder, so if you have any tips on how I could do this better, please do let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and you can find me on all my social media. Links will be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!